What's going down, AMD fam? We have some room to talk about. The new Adrenaline software, 2020 is here, and we've already gotten a few installments inside of here. They have a few bug fixes, we'll get to the patch notes, among some other comparisons. Now, what I'm going to be comparing today's is going to be the standard, which is their original 1912.2 when they were introducing with some stuff. So it's pretty decently stable. And like for most people that are always waiting for that new standard to come in, I'll let you know when it comes by. And it's pretty formidable in certain areas, but we'll see in only one. Way to find out is to get familiarized with what's going down for as far as the portion of the fixes now for as far as what we have installed and what we'll be going towards is the intermittent black screens or losses may occur when performing parallel actions from the web browsing and gaming in the, in the video and i've had that pretty bad actually uh within the 20.1.3 three it's not too bad there's like a little bit of a hesitation as it goes across the screen but mainly for as far as what it used to roll in prior to that it was usually we'd see flickers and it was just not a good look honestly uh, but looking at past that if you do have like other complications put down what video card you have i'd be very curious to see like what exactly is there as we can see what else is making the list is a limited number of situations for the list that was making the last time but now wwe 2k20 and dead or alive still on the list riza a lot of these situations are still having crash failures so they put it on the fixed list last time but will it be fixed this time i don't know people that are playing this you should totally let your boy mac know because i'm really curious actually community speak out leave a comment please on top of the spooky of Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus is not detected in the Radeon Software Game Manager. Text to flow on the UI box yet again makes the list for the fixed. On top of the fan tuning may change back to default states when switching between available GPUs, which is very interesting because if I remember correct, you should watch Gaming Nexus in his uh, coverage of CES. And I think he very well went up to them and said, hey guys, this whole new adrenaline software is great. And yeah, we like the new 2020 look of where it's going and stuff like that. But if you can't even fix the bare minimums of people getting the, the fan speeds working and people not returning it because they think it's broken, when it's actually a good card, you just need to tune it. You know, no one wants to tune something out of the box. They want it to work out of the box and then kind of fiddle with it to make it even stronger, you know? Make it formidable. That is pros and cons between AMD and NVIDIA. NVIDIA becomes very polished, where AMD is very experimental and pushes the envelope, may need some refinement. Uh, but looking at past that situation, uh, the copy and text uh, options are not available in the display for as far as the specs in the table for the Radeon. The intermediate black screens or losses or display may occur when system is left idle on the desktop, um, as well as the factory reset install may keep previous configurations of the radeon software this may cause mismatch global between that and sometimes what you just need to do is just completely clean it out just go back uh, do a factory reset and don't remember your profile and you should be good one thing i did want to mention to the community because i had a really rough time getting the software started up and i noticed it was just when i started running the adrenaline software if it goes idle like um like sleep it, it doesn't like that so if you go in between projects and you start noticing there's inconsistencies like you're trying to stream and a camera's locking up or you know you're trying to utilize davinci and it's just acting really weird reset your computer it is just say whatever you're doing reset your computer reconfigure and you should hopefully be fine if not leave a comment and now to the known issues they basically say that grand theft auto 5 is going to have some issues and some hang-ups of the overlay Big news, it's been making the news, I'm surprised Red Dead isn't on there, but they've kind of polished that a little bit, but there still are issues out there. Um, uh, the audio may be intermittent, be missing within the Radeon Relive for the recording and the clips, that's why I always say utilize OBS, utilize this is a really pretty decent time. Um, on top of that situation, the multiple games on top of the very dark and very bright in-game and the HDR is enablement inside of Windows, so you may not have that function available, it, try reinstalling but that kind of sucks if you really didn't have that because uh, i mean i rely off of hdr and like the way i can send stuff natively uh integral scaling may be um caused by some of the videos within the flicker portions of the display um the res resolution is set less than native so you have to go back up to the native portion so you can't push it down below and these are things that i mean honestly you guys and gals if you've watched my patch notes these are things that have actually made the list quite 
a lot and you know it's like amd what are you doing you know i would like to see like some great software from you guys and gals and i know you guys are trying really hard but it comes down to a point where now i need to tighten my belt this is the beginning of 2020 and we saw some like new and i let you guys have a little slack but the drivers need to be fixed there are issues um that are out there that are seem to be prevalent throughout the whole portion of what's going down now on top of uh, a few situations where you can see the radeon um lag enable and disable the beeps and notifications may be played in error and individually pressing the keys and the assignment of the hotkeys horrible it's like hitting your brakes and your horn going off some random weird mickey mouse type situation um, on top of that, where you can see the Radeon hotkeys, therefore making the list yet again. I mean, they should just group this in the side of there for the video playback inside the web browser. So utilizing their web browser inside there is not going to great. And integral scaling yet again, the option not showing inside of the Windows 7 configuration. But I mean, I hate to say it, but they're they're really, I mean, it's a great program, but take the leap to 10. It's not that bad. I don't like how they have to, you know, pay for all that crap, but you literally can get it for free. I mean, like... If you have a copy, you can install it. There's really no downsides except for like having the license to transfer over. I mean, I, I pay for mine because it's a type situation, but I have been put in situations where I've changed motherboards and they're like, no. And I'm like, yeah, it's the same computer now. I'm not going to pay this every single time for every motherboard. What if I don't use it forever? So, but other debate, other time. Moving on past that situation of where the new takes a live situation going into the inconsistent sizes may not be kept inside the previous set size open within the radeon software some of the vulcan gaming applications may crash when performing a task switched inside of the radeon image sharpening enabled the 5700 card now making the list very leanly on top of that envelope of list performance issues that they have out there on top of what they've quote unquote fixed which has already been making its list on there it's a lot the series graphics utilizers may intermittently experience a black screen when gaming on the desktop potentially a temporary workaround is disabling the hardware inside of the accelerated portions of the applications in the background and the background of the browsers and also sometimes if you have those hangups where you can't get those like just unplug the you know inputs from the back of the gpu and then plug them right back in sometimes that really does help it just like resets the whole card you don't want to do it all the time but you know sometimes a quick click in click out does work so besides that the mobile applications which have been coming a little bit more with the smart shift which i have been noticing there has been a little inconsistency like for as far as bench testing and that's why i've took a little bit longer i might just go back to my intel just for its consistency on all four cores at four locked on top of that because it seems like now with the radeon software it, it tends to want to smart shift all the damn time and it's not even laptop technology the old stuff was so solid but sorry about that loud noise starting off with time spy and the DirectX 12 we can see that the standard right here which is the 1912.2 which comes in pretty decent compared to what the utilization of yesterday used to be but when we compare that directly over here which is the brand new one which is your 20.1.3 you can see that there's some improvements now scores are going to vary to vary between that portion but it definitely seems like it consistently was over what was actually physically going down now going time to extreme with your 4k for as far as that now the first one as we kind of take a peek directly right over here again 1912.3 three right there not but the dot two so no optional now new standard the 19.12.2 you have that variation which comes in which that's pretty strong if you look at the this old school standard to where the new is you're, you're gaining a good portion amount i mean look at that where the score relation goes now where the results down were they better that's mainly because of the pc also cpu score where it's jumping up you can kind of see a little bit of that situation but from the up to up i mean still that's pretty good for as far as the situations would go now you can see down below as i can kind of pulled up where we have now both of these are going to have but what you're going to notice right there is the terrible clock where it kind of like i have this locked in but again this is something i've been starting to notice with the new adrenaline software is that it, it will change drastically which is pretty cool don't get me wrong it's definitely pushing it fast where the board wanted and had some extra edge room where it was supposed to go to kind of accelerate it but that's the biggest factor and remember what i was mentioning before were these bigger portions of these scores 
Now you can see, you know, time spy by itself, but when we get into portions like this, going to here, 4K is a big difference. Now, this was probably one of the more surprising ones when it came down to debut because this is the standard kicking butt. But because it's 1080p and it's Fire Strike, and this is a very heavy card where it can utilize a really good amount of running room, just like a 2080 Ti would be able to run and stomp this at probably about almost a 25 to 24, uh, like a nice overclock. If not, like its standard would roughly be about 23 to about 22 on this decent CPU. But you can see right here the old standard. And we go over to the very new it drops a little bit but i did get with the new one was up to 23 um and that was just by itself and it just depends on the runs it will make the decision seems like with a lot of this variable portions now with going into the very next scoring as we come into where fire strike extreme this is the standard right over here you can kind of see some score variations as we go into the portion past that now we are getting some increasements that's really nice you're about roughly about like not too much but roughly about 30 to 40 points give or take depending on the variable portion of the day now going into the pass overclock and going to the 4k extreme with the ultra you can see some difference of where well it's going to kick butt when it comes down to some scoring as we can go to one to two that's where i noticed the bigger difference right there Th these are huge scores when it comes down to computing the 4k so it seems like they're doing a great job when it comes down to getting to the future market and they are making some adjustments and my radeon card has been acting a little strange lately but i've been you know pushing forward i really hope that amd if you ever watch this definitely hit me up i would love to work with you guys in the beta portions and like see what you guys have cooking because maybe i might be able to help you there's a lot of situations that i get and community thank you so much for leaving a comment down below so should you go with standard or should you go with the new optional today i would like to say if you are 4k bound and you're wanting to get the consistency of kind of pushing the envelope yeah you but you might notice some inconsistencies you might get your flickers gone at the very end of this but for as far as the smoothness it may not be there but your standard is always going to be your standard and those are going to be kind of the situations that will be rock solid for the most part you might get a few flickers here and there but should you well, I think today the optional wins. Give or take between that fire strike test, which I think pretty much you will be able to win with the smart shift and all the other implications that they've had with the introduction past that, it's just totally worth it. Um, so if you're new to the network, hit a like, share, or subscribe. Leave a comment down below of what you thought. And if you subscribe today, who knows? Maybe, just maybe, I will, well, that you know, would be really cool. We'll be able to, Get a DeLorean. You just have to subscribe to find out. And then maybe we'll go to 88 miles an hour and see what that baby can do. Because I'm pretty sure we'll see some serious shit. Anyways, everyone. Have a nice day. See you guys and gals in the near future. And stay classy, tech community. And I will continue to go out. Oh, and new Navi's coming out two times the past. The ooh, portion where they're going down. New NVIDIA's coming out. We have the almost the ampere on the market and those are looking towards q2's all exciting news Ooh. but as we unfold past that there is going to be more and more and more stuff that we can get into but i don't want to make this video that long so stay tuned drop a comment down below what piece of technology are you excited about coming out this year and i will do the same in the near future in a comment myself in the video logs all right everyone catch you later